Always alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. Next Weather Chief Meteorologist Ivan Cabrera says there's a chance we could feel a shower tomorrow. Mm. Or two. Or three. <laughs> or three. <laughs> Keep the umbrella just in case. Yeah, on and off. Uh, in fact, they're starting it tonight into the early part of a tomorrow. It's going to be a messy setup here and a lot of cloud cover. In fact, we did that today, but today was dry. The front stayed to our south. It's coming back north tomorrow and it'll pay us a visit with some showers. We picked up um, 11 hundredths of an inch of rainfall. That was it today, but that was uh, enough. And with the uh, cloud cover, just kind of a gloomy end to the day, although we had a little bit of sunshine filtering through the high clouds before they thickened up in the mid levels here. So 78 was the high temperature, a couple degrees above average. So nothing widespread and nothing heavy, I think, for tonight and into a tomorrow. Nuisance showers. Uh, this is just a setup that will make it, you know, a cloudy day and it's not going to be uh, very pretty at all, but it's not going to be anything significant as far as rainfall accumulations. There's the front uh, lifting up with those scattered showers. They'll continue on and off through tomorrow. Not going to rain uh, every single day, but I think this boundary will lift to the north and so I think Friday we'll have a little pocket here of sun subtly winds and that combination will get temperatures in the low 80s so it's going to be warm and a little bit humid too along with the breeze picking up and then next front comes in on Saturday that'll bring us a next round of showers and unfortunately this front again now we don't want severe weather but it's so weak that it just kind of hangs out here in the Florida Strait so you see the moisture with it it can't push down and so it stays with us with on and off showers throughout the day on on Sunday, both weekend days. I think uh, we'll have some showers in the forecast and not much uh, in the way of any sunny days coming up. I think uh, Friday will be the drier of the next few. There you see the showers kind of lifting up and that'll be the case uh, throughout to the tomorrow from southwest uh, to northeast and then a little stronger cluster as far as heavier rainfall coming in overnight. Thursday night into the early part of Friday, but it gets out of here so quickly that I think even the morning commute will be fine. And then we'll get into that uh, very strong breeze out of the south, very warm and humid breeze setting up for a uh, rain tracker here on uh, Saturday. And there comes a weakening frontal boundary. This will have a powerhouse low to it, but that's going to stay to our north, well to our north. And there you see the front kind of messing with us on Saturday, and that continues into Sunday. Rip currents continue high if you're making it a beach day tomorrow. It's just, you know, a cloudy day with those showers continuing. No alerts yet, but as those winds pick up on Friday, I think we'll get back into it as far as those uh, small craft cautions or advisories. There you see the rain chances continuing about to 40 to 50 percent, and that continues uh, into uh, the the latter part of the day, but then by Friday we'll catch that break before we get back into some showers on Saturday. But look at these temperatures here, not uh, you know January at all. We're looking at numbers well into the 80s.